This is lab three microscopy. In this lab we're going to discuss microscope care. We're going to discuss the components of a microscope. We're going to learn how to calculate total magnification and then we're going to end with a discussion of field of view. In the lab we're always going to move a microscope using two hands as seen in this image. Microscopes are going to be stored in the back cabinet of the lab and anytime we move the microscopes from the cabinet to our lab bench, or even if we're moving the microscope at our lab bench, we want to do that using two hands. This individual is holding the arm of the microscope using his right hand, and the left hand is underneath the base of the microscope. And this is how we always want to move the microscope, using two hands. Now let's discuss the components of a microscope. The ocular lenses are what we're actually going to look through the microscope to see a specimen. And the objective lenses are going to add to the magnification of the ocular lens. To switch between objective lenses, we can rotate the nose piece as shown here. The stage is where we're going to place the slide specimen and we need to illuminate that specimen from underneath using the light source shown here. To focus the image of the specimen on the slide, we have two different focusing knobs. First is the coarse focus knob, which is going to change the focus drastically. And then for more subtle changes in focus, we have the fine focus knob, which is this smaller focus knob there. We've already discussed the base. Uh, this is where we're going to have one of our hands when we move a microscope, and then our other hand is going to be holding the arm. In many of our labs this semester, we're going to be looking at different types of tissue using slides. And these slides are not cheap. They can cost as much as $75 for an individual slide. So it becomes very important to handle slides properly. As this individual is showing us, the proper way to handle a slide is by holding it on the edges and not in the middle of the slide. This prevents the specimen from being smudged or damaged. Now let's get into calculating total magnification. Total magnification is a, is a simple calculation. All you do is take the magnification of the ocular lens and you multiply it by the objective lens. So, for example, if the magnification of the ocular lens is 10x and the magnification of the objective lens is 40x, you multiply those two values together, 10 times 40, to get your total magnification of 400x. And this is an important calculation. It's a simple calculation, but an important calculation to remember because I'm sure it will show up on a practical quiz. Now, magnification is going to interact with how much area you can see um, on that slide. And that area that you can see under a microscope is called the field of view. And the field of view is inversely related to magnification. So, for example, that means if you increase the magnification, you will decrease the field of view. Likewise, if you decrease the magnification, you will increase the field of view. Now, to illustrate this, we have uh, two images of, let's call it an amoeba. On the left, this total magnification is 100x, and we have a field of view approximately of 4 millimeters. I'm just making up values here. On the right, we have a total magnification of the same amoeba of 400x. But as you can see, since we've increased the magnification, that amoeba appears to be bigger in the field of view and because of that, we have a smaller field of view. Now it's only one millimeter. So you can see that increasing the magnification is going to change your field of view. Um, and this is going to be important because 
when we first put a slide onto our microscope, we always want to start looking at that specimen using the scanning lens. This is the objective lens with the lowest magnification. This is going to give us the greatest field of view and we're going to be able to locate the specimen more easily. Once we locate the specimen on the slide using the scanning lens, then we can increase our objective lens to a higher magnification. And lastly, in this lab, we're never going to use the oil immersion lens. That is the objective lens with the black stripe. If we you do use that lens, it's going to damage the slides. So please avoid using that. Before lab this week, you should be comfortable with the following concepts. What is the proper way to hold or move a microscope? You should be able to identify parts on a microscope that we use in lab. You should be able to calculate total magnification. And you should also be comfortable understanding the relationship between total magnification and field of view.